Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on builds that can be modded in. So, um, if you see Link's gear, his Master Sword, and his Hylanian Shield, and his Tunic in the background of this video, you know that I have successfully dealt with mods, and if not, I have unsuccessfully dealt with mods in Oblivion. Also, as per the usual, apparently when I record these Oblivion build videos, in this building. There's jet noise going on. It's fine. They need it. I like the jet noise, to be honest. It's kind of calming. So here we go. This is the Link build with added jet noise. <laughs> um, of course, you have to be a wood elf. I mean, th there's no way around it. If you look at Link, he looks like a freaking elf. He's not that tall either. Um, I mean, some of the games, he's a child. So wood elf. I mean, there's no other choice. Um, your two skill or your two attributes are going to be Endurance and luck, okay? And have a combat specialization. And you're gonna pick the thief sign. Now before we get into the skills, when you're leveling Link up, level up your luck skill. Because one of the things that happens with Link if you play any Zelda game, uh, really, is that as you play through the game, the item drops you get are better and better and better. You know, of course if you go fight standard enemies, you know, you're not gonna find as much stuff. You're gonna find like one single rupees and sometimes fives but as you start to go through the game you know you find bombs you find arrows you find better rupees all sorts of stuff you fight better enemies they give you better loot sometimes you know so overall that's kind of what it is also make sure you level up your endurance a lot because if you've ever played a zelda game too you know that every level you beat you get a heart and there's a lot of hidden hearts in the game as well so you're constantly upgrading your health i mean zelda is one of those games where no matter what, you're going to be leveling up your health left and right if you really play it. Like, if you play a Zelda game and look for all the secrets and get all the secrets, um, your health is just going to go through the roof. It's going to be insane. Uh, so your, your skills, blade and block, I mean, Link, sword and shield. Link is blade and block guy 101. Uh, acrobatics is in there because if you've ever played a Zelda game and messed around with controls, Link does his rolls, he does backflips, he does side strikes, he learns all sorts of cool sword moves as well that involve all these weird timing and grappling moves. So, you gotta have that. Marksman, because Link uses a bow, um, actually quite a bit, like bow on a horse, normal bow, shooting targets, shooting eyes that are glowy, weak spots in bosses, anything like that. Link shoots it with a bow. I mean, he, he uses arrows so much, there's even specialized arrows. There's fire arrows, ice arrows, bomb arrows, sniper arrows, light arrows, all sorts of arrows. So, lots of arrows. <laughs> uh, merchantile, because um, Link always can buy what he needs, and he, if you've played Zelda, well, this is if you've played Zelda, uh, as you play the game, you're able to hold more money, you know, there's a limit to how much money you can hold, and you can hold more of it. So that kind of simulates, you know, his merchantile skill goes up. You can hold even more money than what the game already provides you. So kind of scales it that way. Alchemy, because Link uh, can usually carry four or five potions with him at all times. And, you know, he doesn't really do much with plants. There's some games where he can collect things in bottles, like bugs and things like that, and sell it to people. But he doesn't make his own potions. But you still use potions all the time. Potions, berries you use it all. Grandma suit. I mean, like, I'm surprised there's no potion making in a Zelda game because of how much you actually use potions in a Zelda game. Like, it's pretty intense. Last but not least is destruction. So, destruction's an interesting skill that I chose for Link. Um, this is to simulate using bombs. Basically, bombs and enchanted arrows. Now, you can do, like, fire arrows and things like that, but... It's really almost, in, to my experience, impossible to find, I mean, you can enchant, but find like a bow that sets something on fire. Because if you set something on fire in Zelda, it, you set it on fire, right? You don't just do damage, you set it on fire, or you freeze it. Uh, so if you want to simulate that, uh, use destruction, and only use spells that have either area of effect, and no timer, or destruction spells that have a timer, so like 5 second burn, 10 second burn, things like that. That's kind of the two destruction sets you're going to use to simulate playing Link. Now you're not going to use any armor because the only armor 
Link uses is his shield, so um, you know, use that. Of course, they have the mirror shield in this game, so if you find the mirror shield, I think you're obligated to use the mirror shield, unless, of course, you modded it in. Uh, if you play in vanilla, Mithril shield looks like Hylenian shield, so I'd say use that as long as you can bear. But then swap to the mirror shield if you find it. If you don't find the mirror shield, uh, an ebony shield kind of, it's like the closest resembling shape to a normal mirror shield in a Zelda game. Okay? Um, and go with heavy armor shields too if you can. Like, if you really want to use a shield, go with heavy armor shields because the Hylenian shield is actually too heavy for a child to pick up. That's kind of like a lore thing, is you can't pick it up. So, I mean, really, the only other thing that I would say um, to be, to kind of do is have three robes with you, okay? Have one robe that's green, one that's red, and one that's blue, okay? And the green one, you can do whatever you want with it, okay? But then, the blue one needs to have water breathing. That's one of Link's abilities, is water breathing. And it comes with the blue suit. And then the red one needs to be, if you can, 100 fire resist. If you can't... Oh, that's the cat. Uh, as much fire resist as you can, because the red suit typically has uh, been kind of like fire resistant suit that allows you. There's some dungeons you can't even do without the fire resistant suit. Uh, but other than that, you could make some other Link suits. Um, there's one suit in Twilight Princess that you could simulate that spends money as health instead. I don't even know how you do that. I guess fortify health. Um, you can make the green one, whatever. But yeah, definitely a blue uh, robe with water breathing. And also, um, a ring. Uh, th there's an item in some Zelda games that allows you to pick stuff up. Pick up heavy stuff. And it's a bracelet. Um, but if you can't make it, uh, make a ring that fortifies your strength. Like, as much as you can. And those are really the only two items you're gonna need for the Link build. I mean, that you'll find in Manila. Pretty detailed, I know. Uh, I'm a Zelda nerd, I like Zelda. Um, let me know if you want me to do some other characters from Zelda. I could try, I could try Zelda, Ganon, Tingle, the King of Red Lions, the, the boat. Uh, who knows, Navi? <laughs> you never know. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on uh, Oblivion. One thing I forgot to mention is when you're picking out swords, a silver longsword looks pretty master sword-like, and I have any longsword too. You can do that. So, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. Oh, and glass. I'm sorry, I'm a super nerd right now. I'm, so, I'm like nerd mode. I want to just do all the things. Maybe I should make an in-depth link build with mods. That'd be pretty dope. That's going up sometime. I'll see you guys in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post. Of whatever I decide to make.